Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode four of our Europa walkthrough series. And uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about envelopes. Uh, this is uh, hopefully not going to be too complicated. If you've uh, played with envelopes before in other soft sense, then uh, you'll see some familiar things. And uh, we're just going to go through what you uh, what you can do with this, uh, this neat little section here. So uh, first, there are four. One, two, three. Three, four. Simple enough. Then you have presets that you can choose from. So all these different cool presets. Um, whatever suits your fancy from the exotic to, you know, basically noise to, you know, uh, whatever, sign, etc. Uh, then uh, edit the Y-axis button here, or Y position, rather. Let's click that. So zip, 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 zip. you click that and it changes changes your see your little your grabbers there and little points. Boop, it turns it into that, right? <clears throat> but um, what's more important, so I can double click and see I'm like double clicking and I'm adding points. Um, and you can click, drag up and down little sections. Or control click. That's that's where the money is right there. Burp, 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 burp. And then you have all the points that you possibly could need. Um, <clears throat> so turn it off, and then you can go back in and you can edit all your stuff to a finer degree if you like. So um, then um, sustain. Here, uh, let's see. And you can see it's not set to loop. It's a one t one time through. It stops wherever that is. So if you have, so envelope one, I have it on frequency, on engine one frequency. And wherever it might be at that point is where it's going to stop. You also have to have it turned on. You know, if you have a, if you're using the envelope to control your ADSR, then um, that's another way. That's another place that sustain comes in handy. Uh, loop. Um, it loops. Uh, key trigger. <clears throat> so when you hit key trigger. So. See, it's starting it over every time. And it's not starting it over. So there's your key trigger. That's what it does. Something noteworthy here, when you when you activate your loop, see it changes. So right here, my envelope is in seconds. All right, so short to all the way up to almost 20 seconds. And then when I hit loop, it changes it to hertz. So be aware of that. Then we also have beat sync button. It's pretty straightforward, but just for a demo. Uh, here's a, I uh, put a little drum beat uh, loop. So I think you kind of get the idea there. Now, um, the bipolar here is a little bit more confusing. Easiest way I can explain this, uh, hopefully this will make sense. So bipolar, so I have a bass pitch that it's starting at. And I have bipolar turned off. So it's starting at my bass pitch. 
and this is it's it's uh, basically keeping the middle line like that's the bottom so it goes up and down it doesn't go beneath so in this case I'm pitch bending but I'm not pitch bending into a negative it's staying above the above the line as it were whatever your baseline you're starting from is so then when I do bipolar you can hear it going above the original pitch and below the original pitch so just uh, to demonstrate again okay so there's my original pitch alright there is non bipolar unipolar then so hopefully that makes sense it's it's bending the pitch above and below the starting point with bipolar off it's only bending it above in this case um, and that applies for any effect whether it's um, you know pitch or it's a frequency filter um, if you're bipolar it's gonna sweep it it would sweep back and forth um, as opposed to just going above or if you do a negative number below of what your starting point is uh, let me try to demonstrate that real quick and then bipolar so you can hopefully tell it's sweeping it a little bit harder I'll turn the resolution up here and then bipolar's off and then let me put that back to zero so that's my zero point you can still hear it returning to zero and now it's going above and below so you get more extreme version of it so hopefully that makes sense so global makes your envelope apply to all voices so let's see if I can demonstrate it so it's off here you can hear the attack of this wave on each uh, on each note you hear that wonk 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 so now let me turn global on so each of my notes is starting from here it's not restarting the envelope and then off again and that's the best way I can explain how what global does uh, if that doesn't make sense leave me a comment and I'll kind of try to break it down a little more so that's it that's envelopes uh, we'll We'll touch on them again when we get to the modulation matrix, but um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's what these envelopes can do. Um, I did go ahead and pre-route all of these just as an example. So I got one, two, three, four. I've got four different envelopes, and I've got them routed to engine one, frequency engine two, pan um, engine. Uh, let's see, filter frequency and fre filter drive. <laughs> versus so I think it's safe to say that you can do a lot with uh, with just those envelopes so um, yeah try it yourself and see thanks for watching we'll see you on the next episode when we talk about LFOs also fairly simple um, but we're just going to touch base on it make sure everybody's got old and uh, then we'll start getting into the fun stuff after that thanks for watching cheers